Yo guys, what's going on? Colonies here and welcome today to my first YouTube video back on my new channel. So basically today what I'm going to be bringing you guys is an introduction to myself because I know a lot of you guys, especially fans of Keitaro, Cosmos, Hack, Sylvanas, probably don't know a lot about me. Um, you might think I'm Tweak. Uh, you might think I'm just some random white kid who lives with these dudes. And you're probably right about both of those things. But... Today, I'm going to be giving you a little more info about myself so you guys can get to know me a little better. And as a special guest, I'm going to have Keitaro come in to ask me some questions that I'm sure you all are just dying to know. Yeah, so uh, what's your favorite type of porn? You serious? Yeah. Favorite type of porn? Yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, I'm going to say... Uh, it's very... Uh... What's your favorite type of hentai? Uh, in order. <laughs> <laughs> Wait, in younger? In older. In younger? In older. I said older. I'm out of this video. Okay. Why do you play Smash Brothers? Why do I play Smash Brothers? Okay, getting onto a more serious topic here. Um, I have my roots in gaming from Call of Duty. Um, I used to love competitive Call of Duty and I would play it, but in competitive Call of Duty, if you're not 18 years old, you really can't enter tournaments because of the age rating on the game. And so when I saw Smash, I saw the Smash Brothers documentary and that blew my mind. And then as soon as I saw that, it was like EVO 2013 the next week. Wait, did weekend. you see me in it? I'm a beast at Mark Dittos. Yes, I saw you in it. <laughs> okay, okay. Yeah, I'm a big fan by the way, man. <laughs> Shut up. Then I saw EVO 2013, like the next weekend, it blew my mind. I thought it was amazing. I was like, okay, I have to find local tournaments. I found this like super grassroots bi-weekly that happened like 20 minutes away from me. I'd get my dad to take me there. And just every other week, I just found a lot of joy in like improving day to day and just like grinding out the game and getting good at something new, learning about the community. Um, and yeah, and, and here I am five years later, still like super hooked on on that thrill of getting better at Smash and like trying to prove myself on the big stage. And I got 193rd at SmashCon. I mean, you did better at a different tournament. So. Out of 2,700. Yeah, out of 2,700. That's not bad. That's, that's the top. That's top 10%. That's top 10%. That's higher than top 10. That's like top 8.6, dude. All right, well, uh, I appreciate them trying to make me feel better. And, uh, but I was still really young, you know, four is pretty young. So he would always like sit down and like play through the games with me. And like my favorite game when I was a kid was uh, Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door. Remastered Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door, by the way. But I was so young that I couldn't read yet. I was starting kindergarten the next year. Um, so I would always be bugging him to like read me the subtitles. And I guess one day he got fed up with it or he just wanted me to learn how to read. So he sat down and made me read through Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door, like a, a lot of it. And I really attribute that to like when I started to love gaming. What you're about to watch is sorry, sorry, <laughs> sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I had, I was like, sorry. I was like, there's no way. Sorry. I was like, okay, I think he knows not to click a video. I... Okay, as I was saying, um, yeah, my dad would play Paper Mario Thousand Year Door with me. And he, that's how I learned how to read um, the year before I started kindergarten. And I attribute a lot of that to why I love gaming now, um, when I started getting passionate about gaming. And also, I like to think that I'm a pretty uh, fluent speaker, fluent reader. And I think a lot of that has to do with the fact that I got a head start and I was so, I, I really wanted to learn how to like understand the story in games. So I think that's a big part of it. And that's something from my childhood that stands out to me a lot. Okay. <laughs> okay. Next question is, what's your favorite color? Um, I would say my favorite color is probably maroon red. Okay. Um, I really like kind of like dark tones of like base colors, which sounds stupid, but so I, my favorite colors is like maroon red and then also like the dark blue. That so you is like, like the color of blood, but go ahead. Yes. Okay. Anyways, I, and then dark blue, like the young link alt that I use a lot. Um, I just really love those two colors for some reason. They're not too bright. They don't like stick out too much, but they're just like really nice, chill tones, I guess. Yeah. Reasonable. Another question I have to ask is, where did you grow up? All right, so you know, I'm from the hood, uh, you know. You don't look it, <laughs> Justin Bieber. <laughs> Sorry, I only said that because people call him that in the hood. They, if they see him in the hood, they call him Justin Bieber. <laughs> <laughs> okay, on a real note though, you know, grew up in Compton, California. <laughs> Anyways. That'd be scary. 
Um, I grew up in a small town called Wadsworth, Ohio. Um, it's about 30 minutes from where the loft used to be located at. And um, to me, I really liked where I grew up. Uh, it was a very chill town. There was not a lot of crime. Uh, there was not a lot of violence, but the community was like pretty close. Uh, you know, every community has its issues, but you know, I always had a good time playing sports. I always felt like I went to pretty good schools. I always felt like things were safe. And uh, there was just enough stuff to where it felt like it wasn't empty or like it was impossible to find stuff, but like not too much to where it felt like a city or whatever. So yeah, but now the new area that we live in, which is like very close to Cleveland, um, it's blowing my mind as like a small town kid, kind of like going to this place where there's anything you could possibly want, like five minutes away, you know, right next to downtown Cleveland, right next to like the Q or like Progressive Field, which growing up as a huge like sports fan, that's kind of really cool to me that every time I get on the highway, that's what I see, you sports. know. Sports. Yeah. Sports, yeah. Instead of esports. Well, I love both, you know. Like tonight when I was driving home from the weekly, I was pissed because I got second. And then I was driving home and I just saw like all the lights of downtown Cleveland and all this. And I was like, wait a second, life is pretty damn good right now. So can't really complain. But, damn. Yeah. I, I want to see it. It's cool. Why don't we go tonight? Huh? You want to go driving? To where? To, to look at lights and shit. It's 2.15 a.m. I don't care if it's 2.15 a.m. Next question. All right. Well, anyways. Name one thing about yourself that you think stands out about you that people probably may or may not notice about you. Hmm, okay. Um, I would say uh, one thing that, I, I would say it's just that I have kind of like knowledge about like a lot of different things. I've always been kind of like the type of person to where if I find something interesting, I want to learn as much about it as possible. It's just kind of like my default reaction. So while you guys were in parties in high school, you know, talking to girls and stuff. I wasn't talking to girls. My I first was on, kiss was at age 19. Go ahead. I was on Wikipedia clicking on every blue link possible about random things, you know, whether it's like history or uh, YouTube, Twitch, um, just a bunch of different stuff, you know, I, almost anything we can have like a conversation about. So if you ever want to ask me a question in like my stream chat, or if you see me in person at an event or something, there's a good chance that we can probably have like a real conversation about it. So I guess that's that's one thing. Yeah, that's pretty cool. You just know a bunch of weird shit. Just but. yeah, I, that's like if you ask Silvanus, like name one thing about Colin, he would say like he knows too much random shit. And uh, that I guess that's kind of something that I identify myself with. Okay. But yeah, so thank you very much, Keitaro, for being on my first video back on my new YouTube channel. Um, I appreciate it a lot. If you guys don't know, I'm actually Keitaro's video editor now. And I feel like we're making some really good content over on his channel. So if you guys are interested in that, make sure to go check out his stuff. Um, also, everyone in the loft, I'm trying to get everybody together to do videos together, make content. We, ah. all, we all live in a house together, so there's no excuse for why we aren't making more stuff for you guys. Ah. So, ah. so I'm going to be trying to lead the way and get everybody motivated to make some good YouTube videos. We should watch, like, porn together, low-key. We should watch hentai together. Also. Hentai, yeah. We should watch the, your favorite type. What is that one again? They're 4,000-year-old dragons. Anyways, I can't put this shit in the video, <laughs> dude. Thing or something. Anyways, thank you guys very much for watching. Um, I hope you guys do subscribe if you're interested. I'm going to be trying to upload at least three videos a week, as well as streaming regularly over on my Twitch channel. So make sure to go subscribe to this channel, follow my Twitch channel, follow me on Twitter to know everything that's going on, follow me on Instagram to see pictures of myself, because, you know, sometimes you just got to be feeling yourself, man. <laughs> Shut up.